you hurry up. Sit still, this is for research. Wow, Quinn, I didn't realize that there were careers that let you work with 3D printers. I thought they were just something cool to play with. Absolutely, they're not just a hobby. 3D printers are popping up in lots of industries, like medicine and architecture. They can create one-of-a-kind products and custom parts. Hmm, one-of-a-kind, custom? That's kind of like what we do here in the career lab. Help kids find their own career pathways. But sometimes, no matter what career you're in, you need someone to help you achieve your life goals, like getting a promotion or being more organized. And that's where life coaches come in. Wait, there's a career dedicated to coaching people in their daily lives? Right. They give you the support and tools needed to tackle whatever's standing in between where you are in life and where you want to be. Oh, I see. Someone who gives you the know-how and motivation and then checks in on you to make sure you're on the right track. Yeah, I don't need a life coach. I already get that from my mom. Attention, attention. The Office of the Alphabet is calling with an urgent career request. Please stand by. And the letter is A. Awesome. Let's see. Careers that start with the letter A. Anthropologist. Animal trainer. Administrative assistant. Arborist. Someone who's an expert on trees. Auto mechanic. Maybe one who works on fancy sports cars. Aerospace engineer? Nice, that's definitely a high-tech career. You're right about that. This career is always on the cutting edge of science and technology. Let's talk to Dr. Siddharth Gunasekharan, an aerospace engineer who teaches at the University of Dayton. He says we can call him Dr. Sid. Hi, Dr. Sid. Hey, kids. So, Dr. Sid, We've been doing some research, but could you tell us what an aerospace engineer does? So the aerospace engineer does two things. One is that they can work in space related stuff, but also they can work on airplanes and anything that flies. So in space related stuff, you get to work with satellites, you know, anything that goes into space. And in air vehicles, you can work on airplanes and anything that flies inside the atmosphere. I'm an experimental aerodynamicist by training. So that means I get to play with wind tunnels, lasers, and optics, and designing different wing designs and seeing what designs fly better. So you do research and teach in university. Where are some other places that an aerospace engineer might work? They can work in companies such as GE, uh, Rolls-Royce, uh, NASA, and a lot of government organizations such as Air Force, Army, and Navy, all of those organizations related to airplanes. There's a lot of different companies that, that work on making parts for airplanes, um, like landing gears, wings, engine manufacturing companies, and similar thing goes for rockets as well. Parts of the rockets are made at different locations all around the globe uh, and all around the U.S. So we've been hearing about flying cars forever. Will they ever become a reality? There are some models that actually exist where people can get in their car, drive, and you know find a big space where they can actually take off and fly to another space. But the problem with the current uh, designs is that they are very expensive and not very reliable. But a lot of companies are working towards that dream. You know, one day in in either 10 or 20 years, uh, there will be a lot of uh, flying cars. What's your favorite part about being an aerospace engineer? And what's been your biggest challenge? So my favorite part about being an aerospace engineer is to try multiple designs and conventional and unconventional designs in the wind tunnel and see what configuration gives the best performance. And it's very cool and very fun to come up with creative ideas that could in you know, one day become a reality and save fuel, making the airplane more safer as well and also help the environment in the long run. Now that's the interesting part, but also that's a challenging part because not all designs work the way you expect it to, and all of that takes time. Thanks for talking to us today, Dr. Sid. Bye kids, thank you for talking with me today. That was cool. I know. Hey, come look at this. You know, I was just reading about aerospace engineers using 3D printers to create miniature models of aircraft. I wonder how long it would take to 3D print a whole life-size airplane. We're gonna need a bigger printer. 
and a design. But before we do that, let's write up our report on this cool career and get it to the Office of the Alphabet. Sure. While you two work on that, Zach, Zoe, come on over. The rest of the team can brainstorm what our airplane might look like. Can it be purple? With a racing stripe. And a snack cart. I want this in the front. Okay, maybe we should start by designing the wings and body first.